good morning so today I want to do a self massage video for the pecs and the chest open up this area a lot of us have been looking at screens too much and so that's bringing our shoulders forward um, we might be feeling it in our neck and in our back um, but often the problem is actually coming from the front and um, it's these muscles here being shortened and tight so a few things um, that would be helpful for you to have for today. Have something you can use as lotion. This is a homemade body butter that a friend made for me, actually, and it's amazing. Um, anything will work. Olive oil will even work, coconut oil, any kind of lotion you got around, but something will be helpful. The other thing is a door frame, because I'm gonna show you some stretches. Um, so have a door frame somewhere that you can use, because that's gonna help too. All right, so we're gonna start with. Um, and actually, I'm going to slip off my necklace because it might get in the way a bit. Alright. So, take a little bit of your lotion and just get it on your hand so that you get a little bit of lubrication there. And we're going to start with just some massage away from the sternum. So, away from this middle line of your chest. That's your sternum bone. Um, I'm just going to do some massage away, all the way out towards the shoulder. And you can do some circles too. You can use a good bit of pressure, you know, just feel what feels comfortable. Um, just kind of getting that blood moving. Might feel a little tender, mine definitely does, but it's kind of that hurts so good. I'm using kind of my fingertips too to kind of dig in there a little bit, just get things moving, blood flow going. We'll do one side and then we'll do the other side, but we'll start over here. And you can go right under the collarbone. Let's stay away from above the collarbone because that area has got some. Um, some veins and other things that we want to kind of look out for, but you can go right under the collarbone. There you go. And now we're going to actually grab our pec muscle. So it's going to kind of grabbing your armpit here. Oh, sorry, there's a plane going overhead. Air traffic is starting up again. I'm going to wait a second so you guys can hear me. So you're going to grab your pec, um, just taking like a big hunk using, using your whole hand, thumb and rest of your fingers, and um, as you're kind of pinching that pec muscle, add some movement. So similar to that neck massage video I did, we're going to use the movement to help give you a bit of a stretch. So this is a technique called uh, pin and glide or pin and stretch. Um, so you're pinching. And moving that arm, moving it kind of back and up. You can try it in different spots on this pec muscle. Come closer to the arm and pull almost down with the hand that's pinching. And then pull up so you're creating some tension. Also helps for this if you have short fingernails. Otherwise you might be digging into yourself with your nails. should feel that start and loosen up and then let's end with going back to those gentle just kind of gliding away from the center line that's called like flushing it out you know just kind of smoothing over after that more intense work with the pinning and stretching And we're going to start going to the other side. Same thing. If you need a little more lotion, go for it. It's nice. You can kind of give yourself a good moisturizing session at the same time. And don't forget to breathe. Especially through the tender spots. 
That's where you need to breathe. As we're doing this, we're trying to open up the chest. So it's kind of nice if you can also be sitting in a good, comfortable, upright position with good posture. Um, some circles can also be good. Showing you what I'm doing here, just some circles. back and forth friction with the tips of my fingers just kind of going back and forth in little circles and a decent amount of pressure it's gonna feel a little tender probably all right and then we're gonna move to the pin and stretch so once again taking your other hand thumb and the rest of your fingers Putting the rest of your fingers literally in your armpit and grabbing. Um, if you got too much lotion on your hand, you may need a towel or something. Um, I'm just going to wipe a little bit on my jeans here um, so that you're not too slippery. As you're breathing, It's generally on the exhale that you want to be feeling the more intense stretch. The exhale is where you're going to deepen, let go. Just kind of doing whatever range of motion feels comfortable for that arm. Feel some stretch though in the pec. And with the pin hand that's pinching, you're kind of pulling the opposite direction. So as I move my hand up, I'm pulling down with the hand that's pinching. As I move my arm out, I'm pulling in with the arm that's pinching. And finish with just some some glides, moving that blood, flushing everything out. Alright, and then I just want to show you some stretches you can do too. So, 